everyone. Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen, where Ingalls caters some of the best events anywhere. I'm Ariel Reimer, here with Chef Bruce Brown from the Ingalls Table, and today we're showing you how to make some amazing food right there at home. So, Chef, what are we doing today? Do, which do you like better? Do you like New England clam chowder or Manhattan-style clam chowder? I'm a New England girl. Now, you see, I'm going to make autumn chowder, so it really doesn't oh, matter. well, perfect. This is something totally different, but it's really good because we're using sweet potatoes in a chowder. Oh. Now, I've got about eight ounces of andouille sausage with some poblano peppers and onions, lightly sauteed and browned off in just a tablespoon or two of uh, grease. Uh, maybe bacon grease would be really good. Okay. To that, we're going to add in four cups of diced, par-cooked sweet potatoes, already peeled. All right. And what, what it is is that I took the potatoes, peeled them, diced them up, put them in salted <laughs> boiling water for about five minutes, then drained them and set them off on the side. To that, we're gonna add in about a cup and a half of whole kernel corn, mm. two cups of any kind of white bean you like. If you like cannellini beans, navy beans, great northern beans, but some kind of a white bean, then we're gonna season it all. I've got a little oregano and a touch of thyme. Okay. I've got some salt and pepper and some, uh, just a dash of red pepper flakes. Gotta just, have some spice. You gotta have a little bit just to get in the back of your throat. Now, with this we're going to bring all together, stir it all together. That smells and, amazing. And the smell already is outstanding. Once the uh, sweet potatoes hit the, uh, the, the grease with the onions up, we didn't start with a roux. We're going to put in a cup of flour, stir it through, and add in four cups of water. Perfect. Bring this up to a low simmer. The flour is going to start thickening it. And believe it or not, once it starts to really thicken, a half gallon of milk, whole milk, eight cups. That's all you need. In the interest of time, we're not going to wait for the boil, but that's all right. Pour in your milk. So a stir full it half through gallon. a full half gallon of whole milk. And this, once it gets heated through, you don't, once you add the milk, you don't really need to get it to a full boil because a rolling boil with cream just doesn't work well. But this is a new chowder that you can go on ahead and make for your dinner table. It's great with sandwiches, it's great all by itself. All right, and then this is how it will come out. There's the finished product, nice color. Garnish it with some little sliced up sweet peppers or chipotle peppers, you bet. Well, it looks like we're about out of time. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Chef's Kitchen. For more great recipes and to learn about having the Chef's Kitchen cater your next event, visit thechefskitchen.com. See you next time.